The FAA is transitioning to use the global standard ICAO format for filing flight plans. With ForeFlight, you can make the switch from the FAA domestic form to ICAO in just a few minutes. The biggest change you need to make to file ICAO is to set up your aircraft with the proper ICAO filing codes. Go to More, Aircraft, and tap on the aircraft you want to edit, then scroll down until you reach the filing section. The three fields you need to set up at a minimum are ICAO Equipment, ICAO Surveillance, and ICAO Wake Category. ICAO Equipment allows you to select multiple codes as they apply to your aircraft. Since nearly all aircraft flying today have VOR, ILS, and a VHF COM, a standard code of S is available to specify a combination of these three capabilities. Beyond this, pilots currently filing with domestic code G should also select the ICAO code G, making the final ICAO equipment code GS. If you're currently filing domestic code A, you should instead select D, so the final code is DS. And if you're currently filing domestic code U, then ICAO code S is all you need. Next are the ICAO surveillance codes, which specify what type of transponder your aircraft has. Assuming your transponder has an altitude encoder, you can select C, or S if it is mode S. There are additional codes you can add related to ADS-B and other capabilities, but most of these will not affect the likelihood of your flight plans being cleared, so just leave it at C if you want to keep things simple. The last field, ICAO Wake Category, is the easiest to set up, as it's based entirely on your aircraft's weight. Most pilots will select light, meaning their aircraft is under 15,500 pounds max gross weight. Depending on your aircraft type, ForeFlight may have auto-filled this field. To recap, if you currently file domestic code G, use ICAO equipment codes G and S. If you currently file domestic code A, use ICAO codes D and S. If you currently file domestic code U, use ICAO code S. And if your aircraft has a transponder with altitude encoding, use ICAO surveillance code C. When you're ready to file a flight plan, enter your route information in the Flight View planning form and tap Proceed to File. Tap Form Type at the top and select ICAO. Select the flight rules and flight type and confirm that the filing information is correct. The ICAO form allows you to add up to two alternate airports, though only one is required when filing IFR in the U.S. There are also fields for listing dinghies and emergency equipment if your flight requires these additional items. When you filled out the required fields, tap File to file your flight plan. If there weren't any issues with the details of your aircraft or flight plan, you'll get an email confirming the successful filing. Once filed, you can amend or cancel your plan. IFR plans can be amended or canceled up to 47 minutes before the departure time, and VFR plans can be amended or canceled up to two hours after the departure time. You can find more information about ICAO flight plan filing in the Filing with ForeFlight Mobile Guide, available in-app under Documents, Catalog, ForeFlight.